If you probably heard of Villager News, right? Villager News is an animation web series from Element Animations that was made, created in 2012. Surprisingly, one episode that was Villager News was originally going to have a much darker episode to to that was going to feature some pretty disturbing elements. But if you don't know what Element Animations even is, let me explain. Element Animations is a YouTube channel that would, that would post Minecraft content such as an egg's guide to minecraft or what i said earlier villager news it's pretty much known due to its for due to nostalgia's sakes a pretty entertaining minecraft cha youtube channel it's also a channel that featured the series the crack as well but let me tell you an episode of villager news this was the second video but there was a different alternative version to this video let me explain to me what this alternative video is about. The normal video starts randomly without villager number 4 kicking out of the villagers for some stupid misunderstanding. The villagers are pretty dull in the series, just to note that. However, in the alternative version, it cuts to villager number 4 instead. There really wasn't any kicking whatsoever. The video pauses towards villager number 4's face for a few seconds until he talks. Now we have some news! In the player town, people have encountered some weird sightings of a random talking cow who has been promoting potatoes. Please beware. Don't let this cow promote this scam towards your face. It seems like a normal villager news episode. This wasn't present to the normal episode, though. There really wasn't a villager UFO present presented in the alternative version as well. Nothing really happens, and villager number four presents us with some drawings. One of them was a star and a smiley face on it. It's, the winner of this contest is Villager number 89. Villager na number 89 wasn't even presented, saying, I won, I won. This seems like a boring version of this episode, right? Well, actually, it's the main news line that would probably get your eyes on it. The main news part is where things get really interesting. Villager number four would begin by saying, Breaking news! A player from the player town is suddenly a sus is apparently a suspect on the abducted villager that had been w missing for weeks now. He's in the library reading a book on the chair, and our local SWAT team is surrounding the area. Let's cut to villager number nine. Then it cut to the SWAT team this time. Cuts to... In fact, what it cuts to before what happens? The player, tall Minecraft figure with, brown, with a brown beard, long hair, and jeans who's named Toby, surrounded this villager with an axe. Now, why did he surround him, basically? He was going to kill him. But why, though? It's revealed that villager number 89 was the villager, and he murdered Toby's... and he murdered Toby's brother, who he loved by strangling him to death. Now Toby, in massive amounts of rage, wanted to kill villager number 89 for revenge. Toby said to the villager number 89, You sick piece of trash! You killed my brother! Let me tell you something. Don't mess with my brother, you worthless coward! Toby has angry eyes, grinding teeth, and clenched fists. It appears that villager number 89 has a backstory towards him as well. When he was at least a child, he was tortured by somebody who was an officer. Toby's brother was an officer who did not, never any wrong. Toby comes towards the villager number 89. He would eventually beat the living ever shit out of him with a stick. He then punched him four times, and then he'd eventually throw him towards the anvil, which would land on his face. The villager had his eye knocked straight out, his jaw broken. Toby grabs a pickaxe, pickaxe and hits it towards the villager number 89's head. The pickaxe would stick out of his head, and villager 89 would then die. Toby, carry, Toby carries the villager's body to the boat, to his boat, and ultimately throws it in the water. Switches back to the SWAT scene, cornering the library. Toby notices the SWAT team coming to the library. Cuts to Toby, Toby holding another villager hostage, and that's because he, there was another fact, there was a, an, a fact, another villager who was with Toby that filmed Toby's brother's death. Surrender! One of the villagers said towards Toby. Toby replies back, So my question is, why do you even justify cowards? You just get 
he gets what he deserves for murdering my wonderful brother, and this piggy here filmed the whole thing. See yourself and you'll see why I killed him. The villagers, dumb as they are, used another villager as a weapon. Some of the other villagers watched the building while Toby still held the villagers. The villagers still in fear. With his wide open, opened his mouth to scream. The SWAT team still warned Toby not to kill him. But then Toby used kills the villager by shooting him with a bow and arrow. This time, we don't get to see the villager's death. But blood then splatters on the wall. The SWAT gathers up and tackles Toby to the ground. They t bring Toby out of the library and to the prison. Normal episode, the villagers actually instead swat the library due to the bulk book that was never returned. The scene cuts to the death row. The villagers blindfold Toby and walk to the electric chair for murder. Yet yeah, Toby has the reason to kill those two, avenging for his brother's death. They put Toby in the chair and they take the fold out of Toby's eyes. He was paranoid, terrified that he was going to get executed. Seconds before Toby dies, he gulps, breathing heavily with his pupils shrink in terror as he watches the villagers who were watching him, smiling at him before he was going to die. His hands were shaking while the tears streamed down towards Toby's eyes. The villager pulls the lever to kill Toby. The villagers laughed and cheered as he dies while he not knowing he, he wanted to take the revenge. It cuts to villager number 89 saying the same thing before it cuts to villager number 4 in the normal episode. In the normal episode. Scene cuts to back to villager number 4 saying, No, that was a the last of what had just happened. It appears that the justice is served for the two villagers that were killed. See you next time on while wow, the villagers came come back popping like the normal episode as usual. The next and last scene was the video of the villager killing his brother. <laughs> it appears that this version was cut to it being a frustrating plot. You see, the villagers and Element Animation's channels aren't really that bright, but this is what you call something that's like one of those Patrick Torture episodes on Spongebob. All that Toby wanted to do was to get these villagers that killed... These villagers that killed his brother were to be killed for what they did.